Hey folks, we are coming to a very popular photo site here. You'll find many a postcard with this image on it. If you have a camera, take this opportunity to take this photo. Since the European occupation until very recently, government policy relating to Aboriginal people has been designed and implemented by non-Aboriginal people and the common justification for most policies for Aborigines was that it was for their own good. But it's now clear that none of the policies have actually made the condition of Australia's Indigenous people any better than it was prior to the arrival. Police, they come around, they just do their random checks to see if like drinking and all that sort of things, because we're not allowed to drink in our own yard no more. We're not even allowed to, straight after work, knock off work, we're not even allowed to have a beer, even though we buy it from the shop. A white man appears to drink that in his yard, they just drive past, hey mate, good day mate, we're true blue Aussies, you got your stubbies on mate? Yep, no worries. What a hanging on the barbie. Yeah, no worries, fellas. Have another beer for me. The rest of the world, you've got to take notice and see what these dickheads are doing to us. This is character assassinated for all decent Aboriginal families in Australia. There's no need for this. It is shocking what's going on here. This is apartheid and the false pretenses of protection of children and protection of everybody. This is oppressing Aboriginal people more than they've ever done in the history of this country other than shooting us. There, let them go and they're going to stick it up their arse. I can't even invite my white friends that I served in the army to come here and sit in my front yard because they're not allowed to. This is me, I'm, 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 I'm the one here, I'm, I'm the one who's got a bit of colour. You know, Aboriginal people served in every conflict that existed that Australia was involved with. Australian, uh, Australians who come here and colonise the country had no fucking culture. They've got a Ned Shelley culture. And, 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 and they've got cultures that were brought in Australia from other countries. And we've always had our own culture, our own culture and language. Australia wants to be seen as a progressive, uh, Western, modern, democratic, fair-go society. Except it doesn't want anybody to focus on, all they are interested in Aboriginal people is Aboriginal art. You know, and Cathy Freeman or, you know, if she can win a gold medal for Australia, you know. That's, they only like the success stories. They don't like anything that appears to be tainting the so-called reputation of Australia. We've, we've got to look at ourselves as a white culture and as an indigenous culture and come to some sort of agreement. We're sick of it. We're, we're sick of Aboriginals claiming whatever the fuck they claim and we're sick of white people being racist and, and derogatory towards all Aboriginal people because, you know, We've got to move on. We're meant to be the multi multicultural society of the world and... Are you? Well, no. We've fucking proven ourselves not.